Hello there, my gorgeous friend on the internet. I have built my first website using Wix, the power of Wix, and this is what I did. Take a look. Easy as peasy. When I first got started creating websites, my designs would look absolutely terrible. It would look like some colored rainbows mixed with different colors and poop brown color and also fonts from the 90s. But we made it true, we made it work, we built out the things. But I learned a lot from that point in my life. And in this episode, I'm gonna give you a few tips to greatly improve your designs in case you're struggling with that part of the process. And the last step is gonna be the best saved at the end of this video. That's a lie. I'm lying. It's just for watch time. People do this kind of stuff. I thought I'd give it a try, but I cannot lie. It's hard. I'm an honest man. <laughs> Let's give it two claps for honesty. That's three. Moving on. So number one on the list, the first big issue that a lot of people have is they pick out way too many colors. So as you can see, you have too many colors that makes your design look not that good. And second of all, color is very important because besides the actual design, it, the color you can also use color to put emphasis on certain things on your page, such as the button or the nav or whatever you want, the text in here. And if you have a lot of colors, you don't know what to look at, what's important on the page. So general rule of thumb, as a beginner is either just use white or black for the background and then use one primary color to put emphasis. So to fi fix this, as you can see, this camera has this orange looking thing here. So we're gonna use that as our primary color and everything else is either gonna be black or white. So let's, let's fix this up. We're gonna take this blue, just do a dark gray maybe like that. It doesn't have to be pure black. We're gonna take this background, we're gonna turn it to white like that. And then we're gonna take this button and we're also gonna get that orange color from this. Click on that and there we go, much better. And I'm also gonna take this and turn it to white like that. Now this is a super simple example, but take a look, already much, much better. I'm also gonna take this GoPro if I wanna put some emphasis on this. Also give this an orange color, that's gonna be fine. All right, so we are putting emphasis on the title and on the purchase button. Now, if this is a bit boring, we can add a gradient to this background. So let's go here to, let's do a radial gradient. I can put it on the actual product, drag this up and just add maybe a slight darkness to it. So let's go here, let's darken this up. Actually, let's reverse it. So this is gonna be white there and we're gonna darken this part of the image and it's not working. Why is it not working? All right, so this works. Let me just flip this around like that. Okay. Why you do this to me? There we go, much improved. Second tip on the list is, let's say I like this gray looking thing. Okay, that looks okay, but the problem now is that I don't have enough contrast here on my text. So this black still looks okay here just because it's super, super dark, right? It's pure black, but this orange color is not looking that well. As you can see, if we look here, it's kind of bright. It's not that dark. So take that into consideration when you're building out a website or a design or anything, is that if you have a darker background in a darker text, you're not gonna have enough contrast and the text is gonna be hard to see and it's not nice. So in this case, something like a bright value will work just fine. Like that, that's good. So if I do want a bit of gray, I can get away with that. And this not only affects like white and black, it affects color as well. So I can have a bright color like this, like a reddish color. And as you can see, the black text still works, but this orange is not looking that nice anymore. So not only darkness and lightness, but also the way colors mix, which mix with each other also is gonna affect this. So if I go to something like a bluish color, as you can see now it's easier to see rather than closer to that orange color. That's gonna make it way harder to see. So keep these two things in mind. And besides that, you can also use contrast to put emphasis on something on your, like a text. So not only color, like this GoPro here, theoretically what I can do is use black here. That's perfectly fine, same as the text. But what I can do now, rather than adding a color to this or to this, is I can make this a bit more grayish. And as you can see right now, this GoPro pops out way more just because we have contrast. So you can use color 
to put emphasis on something and also contrast to put emphasis on something. Number three on the list is gonna be white space. White space is extremely important to give your design a bit of room to breathe because having too much information on your screen is gonna be actually way harder for your viewers to read. So rather than having as much information on a screen as possible, what you need to do is clear it up and organize it, make your text smaller, just have more white space. So let's take this example for here. Let's just clean everything up. Just have one text here. Maybe make this even smaller just to have more space here. All right, just like that. These are way too big, they're too close to each other. Let's make these smaller, have some more white space going on here, something like that. That's good. So now we can bring these down a bit. They're not so close to the big title there. Okay, let's also move this here. And now take these and kind of move them right about there. Okay, now we can kind of work inside this because we have these large titles, large pictures, and large text. So let's give these a bit of room as well. Let's take this image, make this way smaller like that, put it in the center. There we go. Take this title. Now again, what we can do is just change the font size to just have that white space. There we go. Now we can drag this up here. Now we have enough space with the image and the title. So this is way easier to read. And now we can also grab this text here, just like that. Let's actually make it smaller, like 18, that's good. Now another problem I have here, it's not only vertical space, but also horizontal space. As you can see, this is way too close to the cart here, and it doesn't look that nice. So let's also add some horizontal space by dragging this in, just like that. That's much, much better. Okay, drag this up, just like that. Okay, now take a look at what we have. We can also do these a bit. Actually, I just have one text. Let me just add some spaces in here for now, but also space those out a bit more. Drop it in there, and this is what we have. Okay, so way easier to read, way easier to get the information across than something like this. Number four is gonna be symmetry and harmony. So in this case, take a look, we have just more text in here. So what we have to do is actually expand this card all the way down here. But the problem is this doesn't look that good anymore because we have cards that are shorter, cards that are longer, and cards that are just kind of in the middle. Okay, so symmetry is actually very important, making things look kind of the same. Uh, so even though I have more text in here to make this look a bit better, what we can do is even though I don't have more text here, I can also expand this down just to make it all symmetrical, just like that. Now, another important thing is also when it comes to white space. So even though the cards are okay now, the amount of space between this card and this card is not equal to this card. So here we have less space, here we have more space. So we can grab all three of them and also very important, let's do distribute horizontal spacing and there we go. Now we have equal spaces in here and what we can also do is add equal spaces between on the right of the page and left of the page. So this still doesn't look that good as you can see because we have more space here and less space here. So we can kind of center this around. Now these images are a bit stretched, so I apologize about that. Let's bring this back a bit like that. But there we go, even though we have more text here, we made everything symmetrical and nice looking. Same thing we can do with the title here. So let's take this title and actually center it like that. So it's perfectly in the center rather than being on the side here or like this or like this, all right? Just keep a nice symmetry between everything. And we can also do it down here. So I can make this footer stuff down here uh, kind of match up where the card starts. So give that white space here on the left of the page. So I can bring this up in here. So it starts at the same level as the card and I can do the same thing with this. I can just bring it here where the card ends. And there we go, we have way much more symmetry than the previous one. And harmony is a way you kind of navigate your viewers to look at the information that you have on your page. So this is a harder example here that's, that doesn't really have any harmony. It's hard for me to read this. Where do I go? I go from here to down here to down here. And this one is kind of just laying here. And then we have a button up here randomly laying. It's not on the same line. Things are just kind of put here together. 
this has harmony, this last line, we have these images down here that I can just look from left to right, all right? So besides them being nicely and proportionally put on the page, uh, it, it, it's easy to read. It goes from left to right, all right? So this is a bit hard because we have just text laying around without any proper harmony. However, here's another example that's a bit better. We have Tesla here or something. <laughs> As you can see, this has way much more harmony. If I read this page from up here to down here, I can do it very simply. From left to right, from top to bottom, left to right, top to bottom. Top to bottom, left to right, left to right, top to bottom. So it's very easy to read. As where it comes to this, we just have a bunch of text laying around here. All right, so that's also very important besides symmetry, is also have a nice harmony. And last but not least, even though you have great text, good looking contrast and everything, if you have bad images, ugly looking images, that's gonna ruin the whole experience because images are probably one of the most important things on your website. Now, if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend either going to pexels.com. They have great images for you to use, very high quality, great looking ones, and also on Splash. Ooh, <laughs> damn, there we go. Also on Splash.com is very great. Sorry, I got distracted there. Let's go up and demonetize, oh no. But if you can, if you do have have a camera such as this guy I would highly recommend you using your own pictures because at the end of the day you are the only one that knows what exactly you're looking for so if you have a camera take your own picture because that's gonna probably fit way better than anything on the stock image websites and even if you end up using a stock image you can still take that and edit it and make it your own. So don't just drag it inside your website. Think about it. See how it looks on your page. If it doesn't, maybe change the colors up a bit. Maybe you just want the model. So cut out the model and insert it to your page like this. And then you, you can have way more customization this way rather than just relying on whatever there is on that image. Get key aspects and key things out of the image and add it to your website that way. There you go, hope you enjoyed watching this episode. I'm kind of taking a little bit of break from the programming stuff just because I'm working on that JavaScript course and that's killing my soul. I don't, and I want my soul. I want it right here. So I want to make more of these. All right, so that's coming up in like a month or so. I'm not sure exactly when, don't quote me on that one. And until next time, make sure to hit the like, smack the ass, Okay, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.